there are five things that your dentist and dental hygienist can see inside your mouth if you're living with celiac disease. Hey, I'm Anastasia. This is Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. March is National Nutrition Month, so we're going to start with celiac disease. It's really important for you to understand that we can see symptoms inside your mouth. So here's the top five. Number one, atrophic glossitis, and that is where your tongue is swollen. It's very smooth and red. So instead of it being almost like you could see a fissure or little papillas, it's very smooth and it's just incredibly painful to speak, swallow, and eat. All right, number two, oral lichen planus, and that is this, it could happen on either side inside your cheeks, and it's this lacy little network and it kind of looks like a really cool design. So it's really red to pink, and then of course white. It's just also extremely painful. Number three, recurrent aphis ulcers. Some get them with, if you eat a lot of citrus kind of things, or if you're eating a lot of spices. This is associated with celiac disease. Number four, enamel defects. We call it hypoplasia. So it's a range of color of your enamel from yellow to brown. And also it could be in, you know, affecting the structure of your enamel. And number five, angular chelitis. And angular chelitis is right along in here. So some people get it with xerostomia or dry mouth. And others, it's winter and their, their lips are, you know, they have chapped lips. I'm just here to share with you, these are symptoms that your dental professional can see. So ask us about that, or they should be asking you um, more questions also. Now, when you go in to see us, Clinically, we've got to make sure we're using gluten-free products on you. So make sure that that is something that is done because gluten can exist in anything from plastics to profi paste. And finally, we want to recommend home care products for you that are healthy and gluten-free. Think of it this way. You've got toothpaste and floss and mouth rinse and fluoride. There's a lot of stuff that can have gluten in it. So we want to make sure we're recommending you to put in something that's healthy inside your mouth instead of something that could make the oral symptoms worse. I hope this helps you out. You subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join me every single week. And until then, take what you learn and make a difference with it.